Hi, so in this video this week, I wanted to kind of do something a little bit differently. So if you're new to my channel, I love doing just makeup tutorials, lifestyle, home decor, fashion, just a sprinkle of just everything that I love, and also in a way to save money as well. So if that's something that you're into, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. But in this video, I just kind of wanted to do a art project. So of course, we all know the holidays are over. And what do you do with some of the decor or maybe even ornaments that maybe either are broken that you don't want to use anymore and you just want to use it for something or maybe that's never crossed your mind. So with this video, I wanted to do a project with it. So I went ahead and I stopped at Michael's and I picked up their canvases. And what I really like is a lot of them come in, they're two pieces. Um, and so you just kind of get two canvases in one for a really great price. And you can always, you know, always use their 40% off um, coupon code as well, or their coupons with your phone if you're in the store. So it helps you to save money as well. Um, but usually you always see them in white and I wanted to have something in a really stark contrast. And so I picked up um, ones in black. And so with that, I had some leftover or just some ornaments that either they just don't have the tops anymore, and I'll show you some closer shots of these, um, or just, you know, they were just kind of like odd pieces and some of the holes, you know, weren't drilled right to actually hang them on the Christmas tree. And so with the black, I wanted to have something in a rose gold, you know, just kind of like look for the project that I'm going for. And so I'm going to be using just some of the old or leftover Christmas ornaments that I don't want to use anymore and I don't want to necessarily throw them away. I'm all about thinking outside the box. And so with this video, I'm just going to kind of create a new piece and kind of share that with you guys and give you some ideas as well. And this could be a fun project that you can use um, just with the whole family or with the kids, you know, since they're all at home social, you know, distancing or, you know, learning from home. This can be a really fun art project that you guys can all do together and they can kind of make it their own or you can create a whole family portrait for yourself. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I wanted to come outside just so that I don't make a mess just with the spray painting. And I picked up from Michael's um, just two, well this one I actually picked up from uh, Home Depot. I always wanna say Home Goods. But I picked up from Home Depot um, and this is a desert rose gold. And then this one I picked up from Michael's um, and this is their rose gold. And as you can see, it's a little bit different so I'm not quite sure which one I want to use just yet. So I'm just going to test them out on the black um, garbage bags that I have just so I can see how it looks and then just kind of see like which one will work better for the look that I'm going for. So to start, I definitely just wanted to kind of test out to see the two colors that I had. I know they both said, you know, rose gold, but I knew they were going to come out a little bit more differently and I'm really glad that I tested it because the one that I got from Michaels, as you can see, definitely came out a lot more metallic. And that's the look I was going for, especially to go, you know, up against the black canvas. So I'm really glad that I picked this one up and that's what I'm going to go ahead and start at the top. So as you can see, I did get a couple of drops of the spray paint on the canvas, but I just went ahead and I later did a touch up and just did like a second layer um, to kind of cover that up. And then I was kind of thinking I wanted to use the other color that I had and it was more of a dusty pink um, when it was sprayed on, but I really liked the fact that it came out more like an ombre effect and so I definitely wanted to incorporate that and as you can see Leo is never far behind when I'm filming um, he's just become the mascot but this is um, a branch that I picked up from Michaels during Christmas and I never used it and so I definitely you know wanted to kind of incorporate that into this and so after the canvas is dried and everything I liked the gold but I still wanted to incorporate a little bit of the um, dusty rose and the metallic 
and so I kind of brought that outside and just kind of spray painted it a little bit not in every area because I did want to still highlight the gold um, of the branches but just to kind of give it as you can see just a little bit of touches you know just to kind of incorporate it more into the color scheme that I was looking for and then I just decided to also do the same thing with the um, the metallic and just kind of turn it over on the opposite side and just kind of you know just spray it in some different places just to incorporate that a little bit more So kind of checking this in the light, you know, it turned out exactly the way that I wanted it to, not too much, but still keeping the gold. And as you can see, girls got a band-aid. I was trying to do another craft and I ended up with two stitches, but I'm fine. Um, so I just want to kind of take, you know, the ornaments and kind of cut them in half. I didn't want to leave the silver top, so I just decided to use the plain side and just kind of get it as flat as possible. And please be careful so you don't end up like me. Um, and just kind of, you know, cutting very carefully so that I can, you know, incorporate these into the look. So I picked up some adhesive spray from the Dollar Tree and then this is from Michael's. And so I just kind of want to spray that on top after everything's been dried and just kind of sprinkle in right where I wanted the glitter to be. You know, it's definitely, you know, I love when glitter is incorporated into just any painting. It kind of gives that Z gallery look. And that's like some of my favorite. It just has like that touch of glam. I absolutely love it. And so I just kind of wanted to check my work and kind of see, you know, did I want to add a little bit more or not. Um, but I'm just loving the ombre effect of the rose gold going into the dusty rose. And then from a different angle, you can really see, you know, the black, you know, just kind of at, towards the bottom. And I just love how that looked. So just kind of, you know, using some wire cutters and please be careful. Um, I just wanted to cut off the pieces um, that I wanted to use um, and just kind of get that all going. So it's definitely important to kind of just place everything where you want it to be just so that you can have an idea of what you know you're going for or is it the look or do you want to change things before you start gluing anything down so I just kind of wanted to lay everything check my work see if it was something that I wanted to use and then these are some other um, just kind of like broken or misshapen um, you know ornaments that I had you know this one still had the wire on it but the rest of them were never drilled well um, and so I just you know instead of throwing them out I just definitely wanted to incorporate them into this piece and so just kind of moving them around, I wanted to kind of see like, you know, is this the look that I was going for or did I want to change things around? And so I actually ended up calling my daughter downstairs because she's very artsy um, and she's got like a great eye for these things. And just to kind of see like, should I do it from that side or should I have more of a contrast and start, you know, the same design, but going from instead of the rose, you know, to black, from black to rose. And so that was kind of the dilemma, but you let me know in the comments which one you would have preferred, you know, going from that side or not. And so you can kind of decide like, you know, which one you're gonna use to kind of glue everything on. You can either, either use the E600 or a hot glue gun, but I found that using a hot glue gun, you know, I was able to kind of just like, you know, get everything on there in a more faster and more permanent option so that nothing wiggled around or didn't have, you know, to take longer to dry. And so, of course, just kind of deciding, should I do black side or should I do the rose gold side? In the end, um, I ended up just choosing this option. I just really loved the contrast um, and just kind of, that it was almost like a forest, you know, on the opposite side. So that was a look that, you know, I ended up going with. And so just kind of using the glue gun, I went in and just kind of, you know, went in all the spots and kind of glued everything in, you know, where I wanted it to be and maybe shuffling some things around if you change your mind as well.
So I went ahead and I really like using this lacquer. It just holds everything in place. And I know you can use Mod Podge or just, you know, other, you know, sealants, but this one just works so well when I do projects. Um, even though it's meant for, you know, furniture, it just is a little bit more, you know, durable and heavy duty. And I just love the sheen that it, you know, leaves behind when it dries. And so this was kind of like last night, but I wanted to just kind of get it out there and spray and just kind of seal in all of the glitter um, and everything else. And I forgot to mention that I did, as you can see, kind of like in the middle, um, I did use um, German glass and just kind of sprinkle that in. Um, in gold just to add a little bit more contrast and this is the final product so I'm not sure if I'm gonna still leave it in the hallway um, or not or if I'll put it you know somewhere else in the house but I just loved how this turned out and I hope that this kind of gives you some inspiration to kind of just create your own piece and just kind of make it your own So I thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in my next video.